my gosh. I thought I was live all of this time. I wasn't. Okay, I have to do this video all over again. So, good enough. Here we go. It's web tonight. Uh, I am Lorinda. Nice. So glad you're here. Yes, today was municipality voting day. So we picked a new mayor and commissioner today and um, I made sure I got that done. So if it is voting day where you are, make sure you do that. I want to talk about some tools I use to transcribe videos and audios and meeting minutes. And I can think of so many different ways to use this. You've heard of drag and naturally speaking. I've used that before. It works, um, but it is kind of pricey. This solution here is only like 20 bucks a year and it used to be free. So let's go to this website and show you where it is. Okay. It's called, the software is called Transcribe, which is a little bit confusing. Uh, okay, here it is. So I'm going to sh share screen now. <laughs> okay, so it is at transcribe.wreally. Okay, that's that second one right there. Okay. So what I did was I went, first of all, I went to this website here, downloaded and installed anyvideoconverter.com. Um, any video converter will download and convert um, videos for you. You can download them from YouTube or Facebook, or you can convert videos from from any format to almost any other format. It can. It does a lot of great stuff here. So get that installed. Then you can open that up. And let's get rid of this one because we did this already. Well, it's okay. So you go to the video. Let's just say you want to download a video from YouTube. So you take the link from YouTube. Copy that. Open up Easy Video Converter, click, click on the plus, and put the URL in there, and you start the download. I'm not going to start the download now because I've already did the download, but when it starts, it's going to finish, and it's going to look like this. Over here is where it put it. You can change where it puts it, but this is where it put it. Put it in Lorenzo videos, blah, blah, blah. If you click right here, it's going to take you to where that is on your computer. So on this computer, it's in my videos inside a folder called Any Video Converter. And that is inside a fo folder called... Um, MP3 is highlighted, but it really didn't put it there. It put it in a YouTube folder. So let's just go over there to where it to where it is, and and I can I can prove that to you. See, it it put it in my videos, any video converter, and YouTube. That's where it put it. It put it right there. So. What we're going to do with that is we're going to take this video and do a transcription for it. So we take that video and and choose it right here. We choose it from the place that we just downloaded it to. And as you notice here, you can do MP3s, which is an audio only file. You can do MP4s, which is a video file. Usually those are the files you see on YouTube. M4As, AMRs, 
uh, WMAs, AACs, and WAVs. WAV and AAC are audio formats. WMA is a video format. And I do not even remember what these two formats are. Anyway, so we're gonna choose the one that we just did, which is a video. So it is this, it is this video here. So she started talking and that's what it's, that's what it is going to do. These buttons here, this is play, this is slow her down. Let's see, uh, this is slow her down, this is speed it up, this is go um, rewind two seconds, this is fast forward two seconds, F6 is insert a time step stamp. So if I hit F6 right now, it's just going to tell you that the video is at 20 seconds. Uh, auto loop is it will go forward a few minutes, um, a few seconds, and then loop back and give you time to type it and then cut back off. Foot pedal is if you have a, a foot pedal that you can get from Amazon or somewhere else, which are more expensive than than you think they are. Uh, the ones I saw were fifty dollars to sixty to a hundred bucks. Like wow, uh, reset just takes your audio out. So let's um, uh, dictate. Is you can actually speak and have it do the typing for you, which is kind of cool. So the idea is you start playing. Let's cut the. Let's turn on dictate. See, so it is typing what I am saying, period. And we're going to say something with her. Is taking proper meeting minutes. Oh, they got that right, period. This is crucial in order to keep track of the topics that were covered, period. Correct that. I used to have a dictation software that would do the correction for you. Maybe there's some stuff like that. I don't know how to do that, but it's doing pretty good, right? It's keeping up with what I'm saying and it's typing what I'm saying. And that is very good. So the test that I wanted to try was what if I was just playing have this up and running while people are talking in the room would how much of it would it catch and would it be a headache to go back and try to clean all of this up or would it just do this right you know this pretty pretty darn cool so when you're done with that you can um go ahead and export it as a word document and I'm just gonna put it on my desktop and um, and name it delete. So that's pretty cool. So what we've gone over so far is how to take a video from YouTube. This takes the video from YouTube. This was the video that we took from YouTube. This is the place that we put it to do the dictation and we created a document with this transcription in it very cool right yeah i thought i thought so too very cool now the other couple of tools oh what i did want to mention is any video converter will also convert videos it will take uh for example this super note here is a smartphone app that i use all the time to record a meeting okay so when you record a meeting you're going to be creating a m p three File. Well, you're not really going to create it. You're going to be creating an audio file. Okay. Super note, which is this. Um, Super note is this app here. Ah. Okay. Let me find Super note for you. And all Super note does is it records the meeting for you. So if you have something else that you're recording the meeting, if you're capturing it digitally, meaning you have it uh, in a format that you can put 
onto your computer or that you can email to yourself. Supernote will let you do that. It will, you need to uh, take many breaks if you're gonna do emailing it to yourself or the file will get too big and you won't be able to send it to yourself. If you are doing, um, you can also open up your Supernote on your phone and open up a web browser. To do that, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network on your phone that your computer is on, and then you can tap a little button inside Supernote on your phone or on your iPad, and it will give you an IP address that you can download that audio that you recorded from your meeting. You can download that into the transcription service, play it, and dictate it from there. Okay, I hope that made a lot of sense. But basically, you're just recording the meeting and then you're taking it to be dictated. Okay, so this is the that super note that I was talking about. I use the free version. I don't have... Um, I don't have a need to to for the other version. Oh, I don't. I think so. Supernote is for iPhone as well as Android. So that's a way to get to do the to do the meeting recording. And O Player is a way to play the recording in a way that Supernote really, really can't. Uh, okay, so this is O Player right here. That's what it looks like. And how I use that is I will take a video and audio or something that I want to be able to look at offline. I will open up. You can connect to that through Wi-Fi on the computer too. So I'll take the video or the audio and put it on my phone so I can listen to that in a place that I don't have Wi-Fi. So if I get stuck in a line somewhere or I am um, at home where I don't have Wi-Fi because I try to work while I'm at work and be at home doing stuff when I'm at home, when I do that, I can still look at something offline um, but while I'm not connected to the internet. So that's a way to do that. That's a way to get something from off your computer onto your phone and you can watch it later. So that's that tool right there. And here is, uh, those are the tools I wanted to share, you, share with you. So we've got any video converter. Uh, this was just a YouTube video that we did the transcription demo and this is the transcription software that we were using and Supernote is the smartphone app so you can record the meeting and O Player is a way that you can just take stuff with you when you are going to be offline when you're going to be away from Wi-Fi. Okay, so those are the things I wanted to share with you. I hope they are they were very helpful. So again, we'll just go from the top at this here. This is a tool that will let you download YouTube videos and Facebook videos and put them on your computer. Um, put them on your computer or put them on your phone or use the O Player app to put them on your phone. This was just a video that showed uh, some effective meeting minutes taking um, stuff. Supernote is a record, a meeting app. This you can record with Supernote and O Player is a way to play it back and take stuff offline with you. The reason this video uh, caught my attention is because it looks like she does have the minutes really organized really well. This is for OneNote 2010. She's doing this in, but OneNote, OneNote 2013 looks very, very similar, but the way that she has stuff structured in here looks 
uh, like it would really be, be a good way to do that. So I do want to watch that at some point. So that's why I included that here. And that is it. Um, I hope some of that was helpful for you. If you are in need of being able to either download a video or convert a video. Now you will have to convert a video uh, or convert an audio. Any video converter will convert audio as well. For example, if you use the uh, Super Note app that we just talked about to record a meeting, right? It's gonna create a AIF file. It's not gonna create the typical MP3 file that you think it would. You can take that audio, put it inside of any video converter and convert it to a MP3 that you can use on your transcription. Let's see, does the transcription take an AIF? It might. I don't even, I don't know. No, it doesn't. It doesn't take AIF files, the transcription. So you are going to have to, if you record it with um, if you record it with Supernote, you're going to have to put it in any video converter, convert it to an MP3, then open it with a transcription and either do the dictation or do the typing yourself. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. And um, let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me at Lorenda at Lorenda.com. Take care and God bless.